usually train as much as possible Mondays and Fridays in the morning. We're trying to uh, get ready for Canadian Championships, which is coming up uh, Saturday this, uh, this week. And then, of course, Worlds, which will be held in Canada for the first time, just north of Napanee, which we're very, very excited about it. Well, we're expecting um, and approximately 120 athletes. Uh, looks like about 13 or 14 countries represented. It's a three-event sport, so uh, we do uh, tricks, uh, slalom and jump. So tricks is, uh, uh, we're also always skiing long line, so a 75 feet tricks. There's all kinds of tricks you can do, one foot, one hand, uh, foot in the strap, so that's called a toe hold. Um, you can do it forwards, you can do it backwards, you do the, everything you do forwards, you can do backwards, back one foot, toe holes, and then you can start doing turns. Um, there's all kinds of tricks you can do. The big advantage of barefoot is that uh, it's not a power sport, it's a finesse sport. It takes a while to learn all the little details and you have to build one skill at a time. You can't kind of jump ahead. How old were you when you learned? I happened to be 58. Um, and I had been doing slalom skiing and trick skiing and, re and regular skis and uh, had gotten some pretty good coaching from high level people uh, but nobody ever told me it's kind of hard to be a winner if you're short <laughs> and I'm short. <laughs> In tournament, uh, you want some speed, nice and hard water, so you can put pressure on the water, but 43 to 46 miles per hour is pretty much what I ski, and I'm going to say most skiers are in that range. Too many crashes is hard in the body, so you want to limit those to zero to one or two. How's your body doing? <laughs> well, Advil's my friend. 